What's up, Ant City, and welcome to the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge. If you haven't seen this before, or you just needed a refresher, then allow me to explain the rules. So rule number one is that you're only allowed to play as one character at a time. So to give an example of that, let's just jump straight to rule number two, is that you have to start with Tanjiro. So Tanjiro, the very first Tanjiro, is the character you have to start with. So back to rule number one with the one character at a time thing. So let's say you have Tanjiro and Nezuko on your team, because you obviously have to pick two characters. You're allowed to assist with Nezuko, but you can't switch into her, and I'll explain why right now with rule number three, which is that all characters only have two lives. Now, these lives are going to be counted by the rounds, not individual matches, but actual rounds within the matches. So these are permanent lives, too. So it's not like you get two lives per match. It's two lives across the board. So let's say you're playing as Tanjiro and then you lose two rounds. You have to then switch into your next character, which for this example is Nezuko, but your second character can be whoever you want it to be. You just have to start with Tanjiro. That just gives everyone like a, a common starting point, you know? But your second character can be whoever. And rule number four is that after both of the lives are used on your character, you can no longer use that character. So for this example, it was Tanjiro, but this goes for every character for the whole challenge. If you lose both your lives, that character is out. Rule number five is that the Academy characters do not actually count as separate characters because they basically are the same as the normal characters. Like Academy Tanjiro and normal Tanjiro have the same moveset basically, so they don't count as separate characters. Now as a bonus rule, if you end up not losing any rounds for six matches, so six total matches, not rounds, but six individual matches, then you have to move on to the next character just because I want this challenge to actually have an ending point because technically... You could just win forever with Tanjiro, and then this challenge would go on forever. So, we're capping it out at six matches per character. So, once you hit six matches, you move on to the next character. But yeah, that's it for the rules. So, without further ado, make sure you like and subscribe, and then let's get right into the video. all right so we're right back here for the second episode of the demon slayer nuzlocke challenge and if you couldn't tell we're actually doing pretty good in this challenge because if you haven't seen the last episode uh we didn't lose a single life with tanjiro meaning we're still on the very first two characters so we are doing really great right now and i'm happy about it so let's see if we can just take this first round before i finish my sentence let's go oh my god that was so good yeah so we're doing really good um because we still have our first two characters but yeah so um uh but yeah it's been going good honestly though real quick i just wanted to oh all right i don't know if it's just been me but i've been running into a lot of akazas lately like this is like my third one in like the last few days or like last week i guess or I don't know. It's just I've been running into a lot of Akazas recently, and I don't know why. Like I, I get that he's fun, but like people haven't like when the other demons came out, a lot of people weren't playing him. And then now, oh, I broke his guard too. I didn't even notice. I just kind of did it so casually. Oh, get him, Nezuko. Let's jump him. Yo, is Tanjiro too good? I might. If this goes for too long, I might need to add a cap because one thing I didn't really like take into account when making the rules is uh what if you just keep winning and never lose because that is possible but it's kind of hard to do but um uh i guess it will cross that bridge if we get there like if i go like three like if i go one more video and i still haven't lost a life with tanjiro i might change up the rules like i might add like a cap to how many rounds you could do just so that way the challenge can actually end i don't know we'll cross that bridge when we get there though for now we're just gonna keep doing our thing here with tanjiro and hope that we don't lose but if i if i don't lose that'd be beautiful but like I do kind of, like, the whole point of the challenge is to, like, you know, see the whole roster. But, I mean, at the same time, if I don't, that just means I'm doing good. So, it's like, I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I blocked this. this. Get him. There you go. Because, like, I literally might not lose a life. Like, like, I might be too good at the game. Let's go into the goal again. Got him. Oh, my God. We're already done with the first match. That was so quick. Oh, my gosh. 
Look, we've seen this windscreen so many times. Honestly, this game, I think I've said this in other videos, this game, this game needs to give you customizable windscreens like that with their finishing cut-ins. They need to give you customizable ones. But, um, yeah, so if we go this whole video or the next one without losing a life of Tanjiro, I'm probably going to add a cap to how many rounds you can do. Probably maybe like 10, and then you have to switch to the next character or something like that. I don't know. Just so that way the, you know, the... <laughs> the challenge can actually continue in situations like that you, you'll know by the next video if i've or by the end of this video i guess if i lost another not life or anything but we're gonna rematch but he's gonna change his characters and stuff so i'll see y'all when the match starts all right so now i'm playing as academy tanjiro and nezuko just to switch it up a little bit you know but um he's playing as yushiro and tamai so that's interesting um but yeah i'm probably gonna add like a a cap to how many rounds you could do if i do decide that though i will put it in the comments of the of the first video you know so i won't like just leave everyone in the dark for about it um so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll see when I get there. But I'm probably gonna add like a, I'm thinking like ten matches, like not rounds, but ten full matches or not. Wait, hold on. This is like um, am I ten full? I guess ten full matches. Yeah, ten full matches. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna add a cap of ten matches, and then you have to switch to the next character. So it's like you basically lost both your lives though, automatically. You know, just so that way the challenge can actually have an end. You know. Uh, because I didn't, I guess I didn't think about it. Because I, I guess I figured it'd be pretty hard to not lose any rounds at all. But, like, so far, I'm already, like, you know, three matches in. And I haven't lost a single round. So, like, um, obviously, and I'm not even, like, the best player at this game. So, I can only imagine if someone better than me did this challenge. So, yeah, I will leave that as, like, a explanation in the, in the, in the bottom of the... Oh, Tan wait, that was weird. Tanjiro just kind of dashed by himself. I didn't even tell him. Oh, I didn't mean to switch. Uh-oh. I won't attack. That, that was an accident. Um, we're having technical difficulty. I won't attack him, but I did not mean to switch there. That was a mistake. I'm just going to avoid him. All right, switch back. I meant to tap to do an assist. Okay, we're back. It's just because it's lagging so much that like my inputs are all weird. But um, yeah, so I'm probably going to add like a 10 match limit for each character. Uh, but like I said... You'll know for sure, because uh, this is the second video. So if you have if you haven't read the comments of the first video, then um, it should be in there. <laughs> if I do decide to go with the 10 round limit, you know. But, because I'm recording all these before I edit and upload them. So, yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let's just get back to this round episode. This episode, though. We are doing really good. Oh, my God. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my gosh. And then, this might be a short video, honestly, because I'm only doing, like, two sets per video. Because this is a challenge, so this might be a really short video. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even, like, intend for it to be that short. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. We're doing some damage here. Right, get the assist out. Get him, Nezuko, let's go! I just learned, like, like connecting that that waterfall basin into the ult is broken. Like, look, you could do that with every... Oh, my God. We went another <laughs> match without losing a round. Yeah, I'm going to have to add, like, a 10-round limit. Which means that, basically, for the way I do my videos, that'd be, like, what, four videos? No, it's two per video. It'd be... It'd be five videos, yeah. So far. I might lower that. I don't know. I'm, I'm undecided right now. But there is going to be a limit because of how <laughs> these first two videos went. Oh, my God. That was so quick. I didn't. I did not expect to be doing this good. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's just because I'm on Tanjiro though, because Tanjiro is kind of cracked. But um, I guess we're gonna. Oh, he left the room anyway, so I guess we're just gonna end off the video now. Oh my gosh, bro. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge. If you want to try this challenge out for yourself and you post it, make sure you use the hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke tag and just, you know, put that on in the title of your video or in the description or on your Twitter post, wherever you post it. Use that tag because I want to see what y'all guys do. But um, yeah, other than that, though, this video went really good as well. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button and share this video around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers, whoever you want to share it with. And if you really, really like this video, you might consider putting it down into your favorites playlist. But yeah, that's it from me. So until next time, I'll see you all later and peace. Have a good day or night, y'all. I'll hug you.